Hi everyone, I'm here today to show you the viral reverse smoky eye. It's going to be a lot of fun, so watch on. I'm going to start with uh, curling my lashes. So curl your lashes so that it can give you a sort of like an outline of how much you can wing it out in the corner. Now you can do this in a black or you can do it in any other color. I'm going to show you how to do it in a black first and then if you want to do it in any other color, I'll show you how to change that. I'm going to use Dark Knight Eye Pencil and I'm going to gently scribble the product in my waterline. Now when I come to the corner here, I'm going to take it out very, very slightly. I'm going to use a flat brush to blend it out. Now when I blend it out, it's going to be upwards towards my brow. So if you see, I'm not going to add more product on my brush, but I'm going to take it upwards here. And I'm going to blend out the entire thing, but keeping the thickness towards the outer corner of the eye and not in the middle and not in the inner corner of the eye. It's a very slight, very quick procedure of how to do this. And that's about it. So I'll show you how to convert this into a colored smoky eye. Take any color eyeshadow that you want on a flat brush, the same flat brush that I used. I'm going to be using a blue. So I've got blue on my brush. And I'm going to blend that into the Kajal pencil. You can either choose to do it this way or you can just use a blue pencil. I like to do this because the black tends to create a little bit of depth and then gives a little bit of color. What you can do is also highlight the inner corner of your eye with a slightly lighter color. I'm going to highlight it right about there and join it up to the blue. And I'm going to finish off with a mascara. I'm going to use the Tinge Mascara in Grease. This is our waterproof mascara and I'm going to start from the base working it upwards. What is great about this brush also is that it's tapered towards the inner corner so that you can get right to the small lashes. If you do get a little mascara on the top of your eye there, wait for it to completely dry out before you take it off with a Q-tip. So I hope you like this look. Let me know if you have any questions and I'd be happy to answer them. This is a great look for someone who has hooded eyes and doesn't like to do too much of eyeshadow on top of the eyelid. You can do the reverse smoky eye and uh, this gives a beautiful lift to the eye as you can see from one side to the other. 